Good day, learners. Our subject for today is Mathematics 5 for Quarter 4, Week 5. And our topic is Reading and Measuring Temperature with Problem Solving. For the most essential learning competencies, after going through this lesson, you are expected to read and measure temperature using thermometer, the alcohol, or the manual in degree Celsius. Solves routine and non-routine problems involving temperature in real-life situations. For the introduction, Temperature plays a crucial role in medical care, both human and animals, food, beverages, and agriculture. Our overall health is often reliant upon the temperature in many ways as well. Temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body or object. It can be expressed in degree Celsius. In this lesson, you will be able to read and measure temperature using a thermometer and solve routine and non-routine problems involving temperature. A thermometer consists of a glass attached to a glass tube with a number scale. The liquid in the bulb rises or drops when the temperature changes. The ethanol rises when hot and goes down when it is cooled or it is cool. The normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius and the freezing point is 0 degrees Celsius. Each space into number scale represents 1 degree Celsius. The number below 0 are written with a minus sign. To read the thermometer, find the level of the liquid or the ethanol. Example. What is the temperature being shown? So in this example, the temperature is 48 degree Celsius. For example number two, Emmanuel is not feeling well after their trip to Laguna. So his mother used thermometer to measure his temperature. The normal body temperature of a person is 37 degrees Celsius. Observing the thermometer, how many degrees in Emmanuel's temperature higher than the normal body temperature? For the solution to the problem, it shows from the temperature that Emmanuel has a body temperature of 38.4 degree Celsius. Since the normal body temperature is 37 degree Celsius, so that means 38.4 minus 37 is equals to 1.4. So therefore, Emmanuel's body temperature is 1.40 degree higher than the normal body temperature. And for that, for learning task one, read the temperature shown in the thermometer. So we have one, two, three, four, and five items. Okay, so let us now answer learning task one. So for number one, it shows that it is zero degree Celsius. For number two, 
the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. And for number 3, the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. And number 4, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And for number 5, the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So for learning task 2, choose what you think is the temperature of the following. So we have one hot water, A, negative 10 degrees Celsius, B, 30 degrees Celsius, and C, 70 degrees Celsius. For number two, a person with fever, A, 30 degrees Celsius, B, 35 degrees Celsius, and C, 40 degrees Celsius. For number three, ice cold tea, A, 10 degrees Celsius, B, 20 degrees Celsius, or C, 40 degree Celsius. Number four, bread in oven. A, 40 degree Celsius, B, 100 degree Celsius, and C, 250 degrees Celsius. And for number five, ice candy. A, 100 degree Celsius, B, 35 degree Celsius, and C, 0 degree Celsius. Okay, so let us now answer learning task number two. So for number one, hot water, the temperature should be, okay, 70 degrees Celsius. For number two, a person with fever, okay, the answer is 40 degrees Celsius. For number three, ice cold tea. Okay, so the answer is letter A, 10 degrees Celsius. Number four, bread in oven. The answer is letter C, 250 degrees Celsius. And number five, ice candy. So the temperature will be zero degree Celsius. For learning task number three, Use the facts in the table to show the problem. So we have the element, gold and lead. No, melting point, 1064.43 degrees Celsius for the gold and 327.5 degrees Celsius for the lead. So the question is, how much hotter is the temperature needed to melt gold than the temperature needed to melt the lead. Now, what is asked in the problem? What facts are given? What operation will be used? How is the solution done? And number five, what is the answer? the questions for learning task number three so again use the facts in the table to show to solve the problem so let us answer first what is asked in the problem so the answer how much hotter is the temperature needed to melt gold and number two what facts are given so my answer the melting point of gold is 1,064.43 degrees Celsius and the lead is 30, uh, 327.5 degrees Celsius. To continue, for number three questions, what operations will be or what operation will be used? Number four, what is the solution done? And number five, what is the answer? Okay, so let us answer first number three. And my answer, sample answer is the operation to be used is subtraction. And how it is done or how is the solution done? So answer, we have to multiply. So 1064.43 degrees Celsius minus 327.5 degrees Celsius is equals to 736.93 degrees Celsius. 
So what is the answer? So that means that the melting gold is 736.93 degree Celsius hotter than melting the lead. For learning test number four, letter A, tell if each statement is true or false. For number one, Bea has a fever. Her temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Number two, the water is boiling. Its temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Number three, people feel comfortable when the temperature is 48 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let us answer learning task number four, letter A. For number one, Vea has a fever. Her temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, so is it true or false? Okay, the answer is false. Because um, the temperature of Bay is 35 degrees Celsius and that is below the normal body temperature. Number two, water is boiling. Its temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, true or false? The answer is true. And number three, people feel comfortable when the temperature is 48 degrees Celsius. So the answer is still false because 48 degrees Celsius is uh, really hot. And to continue, so for letter B, solve the following problems. For number one, the temperature at Gatid Santa Cruz Laguna at 1 p.m. was 32 degrees Celsius. So between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. The temperature dropped at 3.2 degrees Celsius. So what is the temperature at 5 p.m.? Okay, and to answer this uh, problem, let us subtract to get the answer. So 32.0 degrees Celsius. So i-minus natin yung ibinaba na temperature between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. So that is 3.2 degrees Celsius. So that means when you subtract 32.0 degree minus 3.0 uh, uh, degree Celsius, so you will have the answer is 28.8 degrees Celsius. So that means that the temperature at 5 p.m. is 28.8 degrees Celsius. And to continue for number two, how many degrees is 26 degrees Celsius lower than 48 degrees Celsius? So which of the two is the colder temperature? And for number three questions, a freezer is set at zero degrees Celsius. Corina reset to 8.5 degrees Celsius. Did the temperature in the freezer rise or drop by how many degrees? Okay, so let us answer number two. Yeah, so to get the answer, let us subtract. So 48 degrees Celsius minus 26 degrees Celsius. So you will have 22 degrees Celsius. So that means 22 degrees Celsius is colder than 26 degrees Celsius. And for number three, yeah, so the answer is, the temperature in the freezer rises as Corina reset it to 8.5 degrees Celsius. So the freezer temperature now is 8.5 degrees Celsius from 0 degrees Celsius. For the assessment, A, shade the temperature or the thermometer based on the indicated uh, temperature. So we have the first thermometer. So we have 20 degrees Celsius. For number two, we have 97 degrees Celsius. And for number three, we have 15 degrees Celsius.
Okay, so let us now shade the thermometer. So for number one, we have 28 or 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we have this answer. And for number two, 97 degrees Celsius. So how can we shade this into the thermometer? Okay, so this is the answer. And number three, 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we have shade this um, 15 degrees Celsius. To continue the assessment, so for letter P, solve the following problem. So for first problem, if the temperature at 11 in the morning is 28.5 degrees Celsius and became 32.7 degrees Celsius, what was the average temperature? And to answer the problem, so we have 28.5 degrees Celsius plus 32.7 degrees Celsius and that is 61 degrees Celsius. So to get the average temperature, we will divide it by 2. So 61 degrees Celsius divided by 2. So the answer will be 30.6 degrees Celsius. So the average temperature is 30.6 degrees Celsius. For number two. Linus' temperature this morning was 38.2 degrees Celsius. After two hours, his temperature was 39.5 degrees Celsius. Did he get better or worse? How many degrees did his temperature rise? Okay, so let us now answer uh, number two questions or problem. So the answer for this is the temperature of Lino get worse because it rises from 38.2 to 39.5 degrees Celsius. So Lino's temperature were up to 3.2 degree Celsius. That concludes our topic about reading and measuring temperature with problem solving. I hope that you learn a lot from this lesson. Uh, thank you very much and God bless everyone.